Warren, well, the gubernatorial race underway, and we're just about two and a half months away from the primary elections. And last night, some of the Republican candidates stopped by Athens to speak to the Athens Limestone Republican Women Group. And News 19's Hannah Jones joins us live and has details on how that went. Hannah? Lindia Blanchard was one of the candidates in attendance last night. She tells News 19 she credits her experience as a U.S. ambassador to Slovenia during Trump's presidency. Now, when it comes to COVID-19, Blanchard calls herself a, quote, no COVID mandate candidate. She says state mandates are a form of overreach, adding that everyone should have the opportunity to decide if a COVID vaccine is right for themselves. And another hot topic of the night, gas prices and Governor Ivey's gas tax in 2019. Ivy signed a bill that would raise Alabama's fuel tax by 10 cents over three years to increase funding for roads and bridges. But candidate Lindy Blanchard tells News 19 her team asked Governor Ivy's office about how the gas tax was benefiting the state and got no answers. We as a team, we reached out to the governor's office. A, we asked what money has come in from the gas tax, where it was spent, and then what's, what projects are left. And we could not get those answers. So as a mathematician, by the way, I'm a mathematician, not a politician. As a mathematician, I'd love to go in, roll up my sleeves, freeze everything, and as a businesswoman, look at it from that viewpoint. Candidate and pastor Dean Odell was also in attendance. He says he made the decision to run for governor following Governor Ivey's handling of the pandemic. Odell says as governor, he would focus on keeping the state free from COVID mandates and to allow parents choose where their children attend school. Now, candidate Tim James was also in attendance. We'll have more coming up from him in the next half hour. Live this morning, Hannah Jones, News 19.